Hey YouTubers, I hope you have had a fantastic week. Welcome into another video today. I'm going to be going through some of the Neo charts and also updating some of our EV plays out there that we have been continuing to buy and hold because we have been on fire on this channel and every single time we have announced one of those EV stocks we have seen a big shift up, especially since we have had that buy the dip opportunity. I'm going to throw the charts up right now on the screen for you guys so that you can see in front of me. We've got strong bar right now on our NEO price prediction. This is eight analysts on tip ranks, guys, with a medium target of $63.83. We even have a high-end target over the next 12 months of $81, which is absolutely enormous. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome inside. My name is Jason. Go down there, do me a huge favor and smash that like button for me and also hit that big red subscribe button and welcome to this family of investors. Now, NEO is in my top five holdings and it's no wonder guys that this play has been on an absolute tear recently. We did actually have out in the last 48 hours both NEO and Xpeng announced their record high deliveries for June of Q2. Exactly like I had been predicting that we were going to beat those estimates from those top analysts because NEO are also going to be shifting in the second and third quarter into their new factories down into Norway and also we have a new factory with NEO in China opening up in Shanghai and on top of all of this guys they are going to start having a double capacity in production because JAC who is their partner with NEO is going to actually allow them to have not only 10,000 vehicles manufactured per month but 20,000 moving forward so once we do have this coming into the mainstream China is really far ahead now and they are really starting to push with that electrical vehicle so that they can get their global admissions down in China because it's something that the government is working hard on and there is still subsidies for people that want to buy electrical vehicles. So NEO is a local winner in China and I do believe that in the long term this is going to be one of the number one plays inside China, especially in the Asia markets where NEO is of course situated. Now if we look at some of the beautiful designs at NEO and Xpan, we can also see that they did announce its first luxury sedan of the ET7 and January to compete with the other EVs and the Tesla Model S. So this is NEO's new ET7 that we do talk about often on the channel will be out at the start of next year so that's also going to be another stream of revenue for NEO going into the future and this is going to be that high-end luxury branded car so really really nice and I can't wait to see how this does start to play out over the next 12 months now if we jump into the charts we can see that Tesla again on the day is sitting at a break even and NEO since yesterday has also cooled off as well as expiring so we did actually hit those highs guys of $55. So if you are someone that is a swing or day trader, then this would have been a nice place to get those stocks and sell them and then wait for that fall back down to the 100 on the EMA, which is this big red line over here. And then again, start to buy back in and then use NEO as a swing until it pushes back up. Now we do have NEO Power Day coming out again in a few days as well. And I see electrical vehicles as the future. Yesterday when I was driving home from work on the radio, they did actually have an entire news article broadcasted about electrical vehicles and how the UK is situated to start installing Nissan cars to be electric and we are very far behind in compared to China and some of the leaders right now where EVs are being produced but they are really trying to look into how we can upscale and manufacture lithium ion batteries and also sulfate and get these electrical vehicles moving forward. So I'm very, very bullish on this space as a whole. Over the next 10 years, we are gonna see a huge shift in innovation, and that is why I'm continuing to buy and hold this stock, and I am not selling any of my shares at these current share prices. I will wait until NEO is near the triple digits before I consider taking any profit on this, again, for my long-term portfolio. Now, I do have many different types of portfolio, but NEO is situated in my main portfolio account. 
and they are again in my top two holdings. So I absolutely love the future of where this company is going to go, the transition that we are going to see into electrical vehicles. And again, if we go onto the XPAV chart, we can also see guys that XPAV has come back down to that $42 price range. This would have been a nice place, again, if you were a swing trader to take those profits. Wait until things come back down and call off to that 100 on the EMA, and then obviously buy back into those shares. Now, BYD is a stock that is in my top five holdings. I do hold XBang and I am bullish on them, but not as much as NEO. Now, they actually do produce a lot of the vehicles themselves, unlike NEO, who is using JAC Motors. But they do have, you know, that really great scale to profitability because they have that battery swap technology service and they are going to have a subscription which is going to increase their revenue over time in China. Now, let's go on to BYDDY because recently we did have highs on BYDDY as well of $62.50 and we have now since come back down to that 50 on the SMA line. Now I do expect prices to stay around this because we do have some very very strong consolidation around the prices of 50 to $60. So this is probably going to be the new trading term for BYD until we start to see another shift. And again, we do get some more announcements for those deliveries that are ramping up. And then again, we will see a further push because my price target on BYDDY is $80 moving over the next 12 months. One of the other stocks that I have been buying over the last 12 months that I am still continuing to hold on my channel is Hylian. So Hylian stock, Hylian Holdings is now sitting around that $11 mark and I have continued to buy a few more shares at these price to get my cost bases down. I did start buying this stock when it was around that $17 and $18 price range and we have now seen a big drop from those prices down about 35 to 40% on a discount and we are now sitting around that IPO price but coming over the next few years hopefully this will be a nice one that will then just start to shift and take off and I will just leave this one to sit and do its thing over the next five years. So that wraps up this video like I said be sure to go down there smash that like button for me if you haven't already and also hit that big red subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Ciao!